So now, um, so yeah. So now as you see all the GDNT that I created, let me just go ahead and delete them so I can start fresh from scratch. I also have some target points, which I would like to delete them too. Okay, so now the model is fresh and clean. Um, the first step would be getting into the annotate tab where you have the options for annotations and annotation features. So I'll be, as I said before, I'll be covering both and I'll show how do we create GDNT using both functions. So the first thing is to start with the datum. Before that, I need to have a flatness on the surface. I'm using geometric tolerance option under annotations. Just by clicking that, you'll see our GDNT frame that gets popped up in the graphics. So this is from my old memory. So that's why it's, it's already having an information in it. So now the first thing, before editing, you need to place the GDNT frame in the graphics and then go ahead and delete, I mean, edit them. So first thing, I need to place this on this surface. Let me pick, pick that as a reference. So I'm just gonna click on that. So that got my little line linked. The next step would be placing the frame in the graphics. So now I need just to do a middle mouse click in the graphics and it's there. So once you place the GDNT frame, right away you will see the geometric tolerance tab that pops up which allows the user to go ahead and do further editing for that gdnt that you created so right now the first you should see the reference frame the reference sorry the reference uh, button from which you can see the references which is the features that you added for the gdnt that you just made you can go ahead and add additional features or you can just be, leave it with what it is right now. So I'm happy with the feature that I've been selected. So I just click OK. The next step would be doing my uh, changing my type. So that's flatness. So I click flatness there and I'm uh, OK with the OK with the value. Then I just need to remove the memory from all and just left click in order to complete your creation. So that that's done. So this is my flatness that is created on that surface. So now I should go ahead and create the datum. So now in order to create the datum, I also have to use the datum targets for the datum that I make. So I'm using datum target annotation feature, which it's like one dialogue where you can do both. You can do your symbol and also you can create your datum targets right away. So this pops up a small dialog. The first thing is to create the datum feature symbol. That's right, that's exactly what I have to do now. I click OK, and you can see how this popped up the symbol in the graphics. So the next step, as, as we did the frame before, it's just the same thing. You need to go click on the surface that you want the leader line to be placed, and you can just drag it, and you see the frame in the graphics. And now, again, middle mouse click, it's there. So once you complete the GDNT that, I mean, here it's the datum feature symbol, it pops up the datum feature dialog, which allows you to go ahead and do further editing. One thing to notice here is your reference button is grayed out. The reason the reference for any GDNT that you create using annotation feature should only be collected under the annotation feature dialog. So that's the reason why it's grayed out here. Another change is I need to make fix my datum label, which is going to be A, and just left click in the graphics and it's done. So as soon as you complete this, you need to come back to your annotation feature. So right now, the feature is selected here under my reference. I can again go ahead and pick additional features from the surface collector or from the single reference collector. So once that's done, next step would be creating the datum targets. So I click the datum target symbol here, which again instantly popped up my symbol. So now I need to just click on the surface. So now in Creo, you can use either a Creo point or you can just click on the surface and just create a point from the datum target itself. And the best part here is 3D CS will be able to extract both information when you pull in the tar datum target features. So I need to click here in the graphics. I need this point there. So that created that point, and now I need to place the symbol, which is just by doing a middle mouse click. So that's there. 
So now again, as it did for other GDNT, like the GDNT frames and datum feature symbol, it just opened a separate tab for datum target information. So this again, I can see the reference, which is hidden. As I know, this is an annotation feature. I couldn't select reference from here. And again, I have a datum target. It is set to datum point. That's exactly what I want. I don't want any uh, width diameter, so I'll just get rid of that five there. And it's already given a datum name, so that I'm happy with that. So I'm just go ahead. I'm going to click on the graphics, and it's done. So once it's done, you can also see how the reference is being selected from the surface that I clicked. So I'm going to repeat the same steps for A2 and A3, which is just click that, click the point, and drag it, and place the lead. That's there. OK, I'm going to read it off 5, and click OK. Same thing for A3, middle mouse click, get rid of 5, and so that, that's done. So now I completed my datum A along with my datum target symbols. So this is the completed dialog here. I can just click through each, and you can see how it's getting highlighted in the graphics. And same time, you can see how the reference is being selected for each individual entity. So just click OK, and you can see that datum target information gets saved in the Creo tree. So that's done now. So the next step is I need to create a dimension between this slot and make that the datum B. For that, I'm going to use the dimension, which is under annotation. I'm going to click that. And this pops up the select reference dialog. Here, I need to make sure I click on select a surface because I'm using a surface. And also, 3DCS like to have surfaces selected for the GDNT. So I'm going to click that. Control, select the other surface. So when that's done, it automatically popped up the dimension for that slot. So the next step for me is to place it in the graphics. So I need a location. I'm just going to put it there. So I need to do a middle mouse click, and that's there. From here, the next step, as you see, once I place the GDNT, it just pops up a tab for the dimensions now. Again, I need to go through the steps. The first thing is to start with the reference. As now you can see, the reference tab is being highlighted for me to select the reference features because it didn't do it when I was using annotation feature. So that's the one difference here. So I need to go ahead and look at the references. And I can see the reference has already been selected because I did the dimension by directly selecting the features. So that's already done. Another feature we have in Creo is to pick the origin. You can just click on this checkbox and see that it just assigns the reference directly to the selected feature. So that's one thing. And I'm going to hit OK. The reference good, look, looks good to me. The next is, to, if you want, you can change the name of the dimension. It, I like to keep it default. That's fine. And also next is to assign the tolerance value. So that again, uh, as I mentioned before, we have an option inside the entity display to keep the show dimension tolerance turned on. If this is on off, you would, won't be seeing the tolerance tab active for us to edit. So the, so again, if you don't, if you missed it turning on at the first place, and if you don't see the tolerance tab in active, just make sure to go ahead here and turn it back on to bring it active. So that's done. So I know now I need to select the tolerance type. So I'm going to give it symmetric. And once it's done, you can see how this tab became active for me to enter the tolerance value. I'm going to add a 0.5 tolerance range. So plus or minus, that's there. And everything else looks good. So I'm just going to left click in the graphics to make that GDNT safe. 